Hey everyone, Fear here. I just want to go over some um, preparation tips to help you get a little bit more out of your damage with um, especially like um, a trap or with um, AOs. This is very good with um, mystic creatures also. So with all of those in mind, here's just a few preparation items that you can do to really help you out a little bit. All right, first off, you're going to want these advanced antiseptics. As you can see by reading on the bottom, um, not only does it restore a little bit of hit points and um, it resists infection. In other words, it gets rid of um, infections that you may have gotten from being uh, bitten by infected uh, zombies. Um, it also increases your damage dealt to infected by 15% for 10 minutes. So that's 15% damage to an infected creature right there. So you want at least a few of these. And I strongly suggest to quick tab them. That way you can always eat them. Um, another good one is you always want to make sure you got buff, uh, buff foods. In this case, I got some Kula Kid cookies. Um, another one of my favorites, we'll go right over here, I'll show you, is the shredded pork. The shredded pork is just one, one of my all-time favorites. I mean, it's just a really good damage recipe. And there it is right there. So, it increases damage against infected, it increases crit immunity, and increases firing rate. Uh, yeah, that's a really nice one. And you always want your best foods. So, you know, some shredded pork and um, pork knuckle and jelly, great way to go. And as you just saw, you should now have the recipe for that. I strongly suggest you to learn it. Alright, next you want to um, energize your weapon. Now, you, you might see some of these older videos that are out there all over the place where people have to run all the way back to their manor to um, energize their weapons. That is no longer the case. We can go literally anywhere now. You can energize your weapon two feet from standing, uh, two feet away from the boss. So, all you have to do is just come in here, click your weapon. You see that little um, gear icon with the up? Right above um, where it says 400 for the score? Click that. That's your energizer. Now, you want to click over to common. And then on the left-hand side, you'll see I have Herald on mine. But, you know, you can choose whichever deals best. Herald... I have on mine because I was doing some mystic creatures. Harold is great for mystic uh, creatures. Now, there's debate on whether or not Energize helps at all with um, Trap. I do it anyway. I mean, it doesn't hurt. Unless you're um, really scrapping for Nano, just, just do it. You ain't got nothing to lose. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. If it works, hey, you got a little bit extra damage. Um, I would suggest the chaos for that. You can get that from Tex over by the bank. Um, he'll have that formula for you. Because typically you'll have a large amount of people. Alright. Next, if you're Virus Master, you want to make sure your virus bullets are on. Now, unfortunately for us Virus Masters, you know, Toxin, that is, you know, a good damage dealer for you. And it's frowned upon because of the lag. I've always questioned whether or not that's the case because I've been around mystic creatures where there's 600 of these things thrown and I don't even lag for a second. So to say that these are causing the lag, I, I personally just don't believe it. But nevertheless, your campmates will probably yell at you if you use it. So with trap, I've also learned that T hormone does not work. I've sat there and I've sidestepped into it and sidestepped out of it and my damage was identical. So T hormone doesn't work. I just strongly suggest you to either go, you know, 
many camps will yell at you for even throwing down green solution. Well, yellow solution doesn't work on trap either, so that only leaves you with hardener. But I've seen them yell about hardener. So really, everybody wants control over the virus masters, and it really limits us, unfortunately. But um, I would strongly suggest a hardener if... Um, if hardener um, or if your camp allows it, go ahead and go with the heels. You know, keep your keep yourself and your campmates um, alive longer. You know, and then the next thing is most people don't realize your auxiliary weapon. You do get the stats from it on your main weapon. So as you can see, I use unparalleled. This increases damage by 15% when there's no range weapons in your weapon slot. So, my lead shove will get that parallel, unparalleled um, stat with it. And it also, um, it does not, however, get the damage to the infected. Because as you can see, you don't see that there, right? You'd almost swear there wasn't damage to infected on the weapon, but there is. That's because it does not take effect on your secondary. As you can see there, damage to infected, damage to hominoid, puncture, block... All of that, it is not there for auxiliary. So the only thing we're getting out of this is um, the unparalleled. That's basically all you're really getting out of it. Um, but still, the unparalleled is very nice. And then I combine it personally with bloodbath. The less hit points you have, the higher damage you deal. So if you prepare yourself and jump off your town hall like an idiot, like I always do to bring your hit points down to like 10, and then, you know, that's, that'll give you a maximum damage right there. And then of course you want it to have as much damage to infected as possible. That damage to infected is, you know, very positive. And then I also look for, um, like even in my armor, I try to get more damage out of my armor personally. You know, so I will do um, upgrade attributes. See that? I got 1.3% damage to infected. You know, I also look for it in my helmets. But not just that. I also get it. I also look for attack speed. You're using shotguns. They're very they're very slow in comparison to other guns. But you're shooting, what? I think the lead shoves seven pellets. But you're shooting seven pellets in one blast. You get that bad boy up to almost as fast as a, an AR and you're just blowing it out of the water. But also have increased short range damage on that. And the back damage doesn't do anything. On trap at least. Um, I, I've shot him from all angles and it's always the same. So that back damage, I, I think it's actually made more for melee. I don't think it works with um, short range or light weapons or heavy weapons. I think it's straight melee. Um, but that increased short range damage, 1.4%. Heck yeah. All for, all out of my helmet. I'll take it. Um, so, you know, upgrading everything when possible. And getting the most out of everything. That's really what you want to do. Just squeeze out another 5%, another 2%. You know, accessories. I've watched people post their weapons on um, camp chat. <clears throat> excuse me and i've noticed they have no accessories you want these accessories these things are very good um bonuses i mean i don't i i don't understand why nobody has them um but definitely get them as you can see this grade two blue stock has increased my attack power by 11 it decreases my recoil by 18 percent and then i get this jump suppression plus 16 percent and i get a roll um if i get my barrel up to at least a grade two blue i also get a damage bonus too but we won't talk about that they don't like muzzles around here all right and then you know like this grades uh four um blue stop or sight it's giving me a, an extra 19.5 percent crit and reduces my scatter by 13.5 percent my muzzle is increasing my damage, damage bonus by 21%. Crit chance by 5%. Very nice. I don't know. 
uh, I mean, if, if you don't have this stuff equipped, you will never be competitive. Um, even, even if you don't have the, the nice blues and purples and greens that I got, you want to at least have your grays. You can come right here and build them. They're not even expensive to build. And you could build all three gray pieces that you need. You know, just build them. Put them on there. It's much better than nothing. In fact, they're, you know, your damage bonuses and stuff will be the same per level as even the purple. You just won't have any of the, the bonus stats like the roll and stuff like that from the grays. So you want to get your... Um, and this also applies to um, armor. As you see, armor has their, their own set. You know, your your melee, your heavy weapons, you know, they, they all have their sets. You, you got to get them on there and you got to get them leveled up. You know, my armor is a little bit low, but that's because I personally don't have much trouble with um, damage. You know, I, surviving hasn't been a, a problem, so I haven't put a huge focus into my armor. But my armor is still pretty decent, you know. Right now, I'm working on my uh, on my muzzle. Getting that. You want to increase the level? Just click that enhance down there on the bottom. Click enhance, and then you just want to get some materials. You know, just buy you some. This doesn't be so hard. And boom. And you know, normally it doesn't cost so much, but since mine's high level. It, it costs an ungodly amount um but you know at level one those five i just threw at it probably would have brought it up to level four or five just from that you know so yeah def definitely get your accessories built up you'll never be competitive and to be honest if, if you have a cohab make sure you have your ring and make sure you know get it up a little bit you know the cost for a level three ring and only gaining, you know, another one percent damage to monsters. I'm not sure if that's worth 30k gold. I, I haven't been very motivated to keep increasing it, so I kind of leave it at that. But that's another way to get a little, little bit more damage. You want to try to get a little bit more damage. And then with those shotguns, people, don't be back here hitting on. Hitting that boss from back here, you're gonna do like 35 damage at best. Shotguns are close range weapons. Get up on him, trust me. There's probably somebody nearby you that's doing five times the damage. Don't be in front of him because he's probably gonna be shooting or stabbing or smashing things in front of him. You'll be taking unneeded damage. Get behind him, not for the extra damage, but just so you're not taking damage. And keep close. You know, he's focused on somebody else. You ain't got nothing to worry about. Just sit there and just unload. When you need more ammo, you run to your ammo box, hit refill, come back. You can shoot while you're coming back. And, uh, oh, I'm actually out of ammo on this. I forgot to reload it. So, you know, that's just little tips, you know. Yeah, assault rifles, you could be back farther. But even those take has um, reduced damage. Uh, the farther away you are you know assault rifle you probably want to be right about here -ish. shotgun you want to be right about here so make sure you're getting close you know sometimes I, I'm, I'm not even joking I see people on another zip code trying to hit you know a boss with a shotgun and it's just not working and and that's why your damage is so low you got a close range weapon get close don't be scared of them. If you die, you die. You'll, you'll, you'll come back to life. It's not for real. Just keep on unloading on them and keep on increasing damage. If you have a drone, I know they're expensive, but if you do have one, you know, trap is a great time to use it. You know, that, that's a way to really help out your camp is by getting your drone un unloading on this bad boy too. Especially if you have a damaged drone, get it in there. Um, and that's just about it. That, that's really how you're just going to increase your damage. 
it's just nickel and diming. You're just going to, you know, the game's going to nickel and dime you for every little bit of increase, of course. And you need to nickel and dime the game, you know. If you get a, an, a four-star instead of a three-star shotgun, it'll make a little bit of a difference. That's the nickel and diming, you know. Two more da damage per pellet is 14 more damage overall per shot. Multiply that over the next 15 minutes, and you probably just increased your damage by uh, maybe two, three hundred k on that trap boss. This, this by little tiny differences. So make one diamond. All right, guys. I hope this helped you out. This one was a little longer than normal, but it, it covered some needed to need to know info. Have a good one, guys.